Welcome to Scheduling a Special Report to Email. My name is Kristen Linsmeyer, a software consultant at Dean Dorton. Sage Intel allows users not only to send financial reports using various delivery methods, but it also allows users to schedule a report to run automatically. This scheduling option is available to reports that have been previously memorized, report groups that have been created, and all financial reports. Today, we're going to focus on the email delivery method on a financial report. When you schedule a financial report, a report group, or a memorized report, you're able to set filters as well as the start date, end date, and recurrence. You can change the settings of this at any time. When you schedule a report, it's run based on the schedule you create using the report filters and settings you provide, such as the as of date, location, and any other settings. You can pick the day of the week or the day of the month on which to run the scheduled report using the start date. Daily scheduled jobs are run just after midnight based on the time zone for your company location, and that's defined in your company settings. Now I'll take you into Intact to show you how to set up the schedule. The way to schedule a financial report to email is first by navigating to the financial report list. I'm going to do that by going to Reports, All, and Financial Reports. You'll determine which report you're looking to set on a schedule. You'll notice that if one is already set, I can drill down into the status of that here. We'll go ahead and click on Schedule here for my condensed P&L. This brings up the schedule setup screen, and you can determine any filters that you want to apply at the top. Filters include specific departments and groups, locations or location groups, and the as of date. By leaving the as of date blank, the system uses the date on which the report was run for the current date. Next, you're going to set the schedule options by choosing first a start date. This tells the system the date on which to start running the scheduled report and also when to run the report each time the start date detail recurs based on the recurrent selection below. The end date is a date that, you, that you'd like the schedule to stop running or if there is no definite end date, you can choose never. The recurrent selection tells the system how often to run the report after the schedule starts running. This could be daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. Once I choose one of those selections, it populates another field for me where I can tell the system how many weeks should pass in between each run of this report. In the delivery options section, you're going to re uh, determine how the report will be delivered. As you can see, there are three options available, and today I'm going to show you specifically uh, the email option. So the first field is where you would type in the email addresses of who you want to send this report to. If you have multiple email addresses, those can be separated with commas or semicolons. There is a CC me checkbox, and if that's checked, uh, you're going to get a copy of the report being sent to your email address whenever that report is generated. The subject field is where you enter any text that you want to appear in the email subject line, such as the name of the report. And the report type is how you can determine um, how the report is actually going to be viewed from the email. That could be HTML, a printable PDF version, CSV, or Excel. And then the message field can be populated if you want to uh, put a message that will appear in the body of the email. Make sure to select Save in order to uh, keep any of your edits here. One last note is that when the system sends an email for you, your email signature is appended to the end of the message in the body of the email. You can check on what that looks like by navigating to your preferences, scrolling down to the email notification section, and there's an option here for your email signature. Thank you for watching Scheduling a Financial Report to Email.